Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. In today's video, we're going to be building a hydraulic forging press. This is something I've wanted to build for a long time now, and I'm really excited that we finally get to do it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the progress I made today before the video ends. So basically what happened was I went to the steel supplier and picked up this big I-beam. Uh, it's 4 inches by 6 inches by I think it was 90 inches. Um, and also we picked up a couple pieces of this 3 quarter inch plate right here. You can see the top piece right here is going to support the uh, hydraulic cylinder. And also down below I made this other thing. I don't really know what to call it. Basically it's going to support the... Um, the dies that I make for forging and then I also need to make another one down below I have the steel for it but I just didn't get it done today um, the other thing we did was uh, welded these legs on here I'm not too happy with how these came out um, the center pieces of 2 by 2 uh, inch tubing are fine I'm just not happy with the angle that I welded on there I, I ran out of tubing and I put the angle on there just to hold it up for today but I'm probably going to change that so the one major problem we did come across today was this power unit right here. Now when we took it to the hydraulic hose shop to get hoses made for it, we realized that it only pumps fluid in one direction. That's fine for certain applications, but for this hydraulic press, we need the cylinder to push down, but also be able to push itself back up. Um, and this power unit can't do that. So I'm going to have to do some research and find a different power unit that has a valve that can pump fluid in from the top of the cylinder and also pump it in from the bottom to allow that, um, that cylinder, I don't know, the cylinder arm, whatever it's called, to push down but also pull itself back up. Um, other than that, everything went pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna have to order a different power unit and hopefully I'll get a little bit bigger power unit because this is only one gallon per minute and I kind of figured out that that's gonna be really slow for this press. So I hope we could get something that pumps uh, a little bit more volume into the cylinder. Okay, so I just want to give you guys the specs of the cylinder that I ordered before I finish the video. Now this is a cylinder that I ordered from Northern Tool. It's got a 30 inch stroke, which is definitely overkill for what I need. 
uh, but it still works fine. I just had to build the press a little bit taller than I normally would. Um, it has a three and a half inch bore and it has a one and a half inch shaft. Uh, when I did the calculations, I determined that it would be putting out about 14 tons of force um, with the pump that I'm going to use. Since this cylinder has a maximum capacity of, I think it was 3,000 PSI, I'm going to order a pump that is 2,900 PSI. Um, and when you do those calculations, it comes out to about 14 tons. Now the way you figure that out is you need to find the surface area of the inner part of the cylinder. Since this is a three and a half inch bore, you need to find the surface area of a three and a half inch circle. And then what you do is you multiply that surface area by the PSI that the pump puts out and that will give you the force that the cylinder can exert. Um, every cylinder is different. Some are rated for higher pressure. This one happens to be 3000 PSI. Um, and the pump happens to be 2,900 PSI. Um, and so that's what I got. Uh, that'll be more than enough for what I'm trying to do. 14 tons is a lot of force, um, and it's gonna work perfectly for the forging that I'm gonna be doing with this thing. Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button right here. And also you can watch another one of my videos right here.